Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. Does it happen to you that you get a new pair of jeans that need to be shortened? And when you pull out your machines, you either don't have the cable or you don't have the right needles or the right thread, or you just really don't have any sewing machine, but you really, 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 really want to wear it tomorrow? <sighs> In today's video, we are going to shorten a jeans by hand. Yes, by hand. So let's go. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. These are the jeans that need to be shortened. I folded in the final length and secured it with pins. And now I'm going to use my shock to mark this length. In order for me to do this job, I need to know exactly how much those jeans need to be shortened. And I can see that it's about one inch and a half. I'm going to turn my jeans inside out to work more comfortably. So as I said, I needed to shorten one inch and a half, and then I will divide this measurement by two, which is three quarter inch. And then I'm gonna mark this amount exactly from the hem up all around. As you can see, one of the sides is uh, kind of curvy. Sometimes that happens with the jeans. They don't come quite straight. And I'm just trying to make a, more or less a straight line in between. The other side is much better, it's straight, so I won't have any problem with that. Now I'm gonna serve myself with pins because I'm gonna fold over the line I marked and I'm gonna secure it with the pins just to make the job easier for me. You really don't need to do it, but I think it's way easier if you do it this way. Now that my pants are folded and secure with the pins, I'm gonna confirm that I have the right measurement, three quarter inch. My tools today are very easy to find. I just need a small scissor, needles, thread, and of course, what do you guys call this? So I'm gonna take one of those needles and I'm gonna thread it. Today I'm gonna use a, a little bit thicker thread. It's not that you really need that. You can just quadruple it if you want it to be secure. And I'm gonna start sewing at the edge of the hem. I'm gonna try to sew as close as I can. Today, I didn't prepare at all that thread and look how entangled it can get. Sewing like that can be very uncomfortable. I'm using today back stitches. You go back, stitch, and then you go forth a little bit further than when you start. So you can go back again in the same point you were, and then you go back and forth, back and forth, and so on. And your stitches on top will look like that, a little bit similar to the sewing machine. In this case, you can see the overlapping of stitches. Essentially, you are gonna go all around, and it's very important that you make those stitches as close as you can from the hem. As young fashion designer, I never thought that I would be sewing jeans by hand, of course. But it occurred to me that we could do that hem when one of my older friend slash customer had a problem. When you finish your thread, you just do the regular knot. I'm just uh, making a stitch and then passing the thread through the loop and then just pull it. You know, just a regular thing to do. Don't complicate yourself. And then I'm going to show you how to <laughs> prepare the thread. So what I do usually is to pull the thread this way. Like I pull it before I start sewing. If you have wax, of course, it's much better. It's way better because you can wax the thread and that will make it so easier. But by pulling it, you stretch the thread and it won't entangle that much. Look now at the difference. Another thing that I use is my finger. Look at my thumb. I place it on top of the thread that is pulling to reduce the vibration, therefore the entangle. And that way you can sew very easily. As I said before, when I lived in the DR, I had my shop, of course, and I had a, some customers. And then when I was going to leave, one of my customers was almost crying. After I show her how to do her own hem, and then when she needed bigger alteration, she can still go to my colleague because anyways, she was doing most of her job 
so she was okay but in one she was in a trip and she lost her luggage and she needed to buy a pair of jeans and she was going crazy so i'm almost done with my first row as you can see and until now it was very easy for me to explain to my friend how to do this one and we were using the skype because at that time there wasn't zoom or any of that and when we finished this she said oh i'm so good it's all done and i'm like no 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 still you need another extra step so i'm making my last knot for the next step you need a thread of the same color of your jeans Today, I'm so lucky because I have a denim thread, which is special with the colors, but it never fits other jeans. But today is exactly the color of my jeans. So I'm going to thread my needle with this thread. In the case of my customer, she really didn't have this one, <laughs> obviously, because she was working with the hotel sewing kit. <laughs> but I will tell you what we did. But... This is the good step. So I'm gonna insert my needle very close to the edge of the hem inside. And then I'm gonna stitch back just right down. I'm following the grain of the thread, exactly the same way we do when we patch. And then I'm gonna pull it out forward at the same height I started. So I'm gonna make like a kind of a Z. And let me show you how this thread disappear. Look at that. Now you don't see it. So this is the stitch that you are gonna make. You are gonna make right down and then right up, right down and then up, right down and then up. And then you are going all the way around and that will secure the hem. So it won't let it drop. If you don't find the same thread color, you just do like a blind hand inside. When I'm going to the side, the side seams are a little bit more thicker. So you just have to be a little bit more careful. Instead of doing two stitches at the same time, I just go one by one and then I go through. And look at that. This is the hem. It looks really good all by hand. So now you know that you can do all your hems at home keeping the original hem and they will look fantastic let me know in the comment if you will be willing to make this hem for yourself if you find this video useful please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe share comment bye